everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently read The Light That Was Dark and this was originally, well it's by Warren Smith. It was originally published in 1992. Second edition was 2005, second printing was 2008. And of course this is a paperback and it's only 100, what, 100, 100, well, 167 including end notes <clears throat> but it does it speaks of Warren's <clears throat> longing to understand spirituality and he was led down many different pathways but they didn't fulfill him like Christianity did and it's a very revealing book that I enjoyed extremely immensely and it's sensationally written and it gives a lot of food for thought for those who might be led astray by a lot of the new age philosophies <clears throat> but it's a short book but don't let that fool you because there's quite a lot of information that Warren gives and he's very <clears throat> honest with what he went through and just his discovery of himself and the discovery of God as well as Jesus and he realized that the Bible is a great it's a wonderful guidebook <laughs> and you shouldn't be sidetracked but he talks about the fact of the matter that there is evil in the world and I have seen it I have come across it and you can't tell me that there's not and of course you can pray for protection that's always good you can ask God to shield you and just be on your guard because like it says in the word the devil prowls about like a roaring a roaring lion seeking who he whom he might devour so it's <clears throat> it's a very insightful book even though it's extremely short but he talks about a course in miracles and I enjoyed a course in miracles however it just erases the whole idea of evil. You have to have a balance. <laughs> you Creation can't exist without entropy. I mean, it's just only logical that the two need each other in order to thrive and survive. It's just a duality of nature in and of itself. And for the, and I did enjoy A Course of Miracles, don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite books, but that was one part that I just wholeheartedly disagreed with. But I do believe that man in his very core nature is good due to the fact that he has a conscience. And um, not to get flamed, but I believe that God put I put I believe that God put the conscience there. <clears throat> but he gave us free will as well. So we can follow our conscience or we can go about willy nilly um, to <laughs> appease our id, basically. Uh, the id has no real basis in following rules or regulations it just is all about instant gratification <clears throat> it doesn't really care about <laughs> laws but it's it's interesting the, the the human psyche in and of itself the human being um he talks about that quite a bit and it's a very enjoyable book and I highly recommend it and I remember one of my uh, <clears throat> magicians actually suggested it to me but I can't remember the name of the magician who did so to the person who did suggest the light that was dark thank you very much it was a very insightful book very enlightening <laughs> enlightening huh didn't mean to be punny but it's outstanding it's well written and it's still very pertinent to this day because you just got to be cautious sometimes and be be aware. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say about Warren Smith's The Light That Was Dark. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao, tutti.